Hi, my name is Jessica from the fashion and beauty blog, Jeans in a Teacup, and today I'm going to be sharing a huge Cezanne spring and summer um, try-on haul, so stay tuned. All right, so I've been hoarding quite a few pieces that I've gotten from Cezanne over the last couple months, um, so I do have quite a lot of things to cover. Here we go. First, we have the Theo blouse, and this is something I, I recently picked up. Um, I think it was just my last order because I really loved this tie back detail. So all the way down from the neck to the bottom is just um, tied. And I thought that was really cute. I love Cezanne's embroidered blouses. It seems like they come out with several um, each year. I have like three from last year. They come out in different styles and slightly different like white shades. This seems to be like an off, like a cream off white, so it's not a true, true white, which I like because it gives it a little bit more worn in look and it does have um, embroidery details throughout with ruffles along the necks and all the way over here. It has like an interesting shoulder detail. I'm not really sure what you would call this, like ruching um, and then like a lace around the arm. So just a lot of really pretty details going on in this whole blouse. And then of course, the back with all the ties. I think this is the best part, which is why I picked it up, even though I have several of these blouses already. Um, this one is 100% organic cotton, 100% cotton. So I would just check um, each blouse because there's probably more embroidered blouses on their site. I feel like some of them are a mix, maybe of like a different fabric with cotton, but this one's 100% cotton, so it does have a really soft, um, lived-in feel. It doesn't feel like stiff or anything, which I really like. I am wearing size 4, which is my usual Cezanne size. You can see it is pretty boxy. Um, the sizing suggestions on the site say that you can size down if you're in between. Um, I think that's pretty accurate. I probably could fit in a size two. I always worry about like the underarm area if I size down. Like I feel like it's perfect in the size four for me and like the arm is not too tight. Um, so I always worry if I size down if this area will be too tight. But around the body, definitely there's still a lot of room and there could even be more room because you can adjust the ties. So I could open them up and tie them looser um, if I wanted to give the body even more room. So that's why I really like this top. I believe it's still available. Um, so yeah, I just thought it was really cute. Here we have the Fausta clogs. And um, I think I've mentioned it before, but I have had really bad luck with Cezanne shoes. I love all this, their styles. I think they're really cute, but I've ordered a bunch of sandals and loafers and boots and um, most of them have not worked out for me because of the sizing. So I was hesitant to try another pair, but these were really cute. I thought they would go with like all of my summer dresses and they also looked comfortable because of the really thick sole. Um, so I decided to give these a try. I also don't have any clogs in my extensive uh, shoe collection, so I um, wanted to try them out. This is a leather um, heel and sole, um, rubber on the bottom so you're not going to be slipping around. This is leather and has a really pretty gold buckle um, and a padded insole. So despite the heel height, which I'm not sure, maybe three and a half inches or something like that, um, these are really comfortable. Um, yeah, so it says if you're in between sizes to size up, and I think that is correct because I'm either an eight and a half or nine, and I chose the nine, which I believe is the 40. These are size 40. So um, yeah, I think they fit perfectly. I would say that maybe if you have a wide foot, this part up here might be tricky because I do feel it's kind of narrow around this toe area. So if you have like, yeah, really wide foot, you might feel um, kind of constricted around here, but I have narrow feet, so they work really well for me, and I'm excited to wear these in the summer. All right, I'm excited to share one of Cezanne's classic bags. 
This is the Milo Classic bag, and this is one of their iconic or signature bags. I believe they've had it for a long time. It's available year-round in different colors, different leather styles. Um, so I got it in this gorgeous brown color, which is the same color as the clogs that I just shared. So they are matching, which is really cute. Um, this is a leather bag, obviously, and it's an upgrade from their other Milo, Milo bag. The other Milo bag had a different clasp. It was like a toggle clasp. So they updated it with this little like push latch um, clasp, which is a little fancier in my opinion. Um, I haven't tried the other version, so I'm not sure how the toggle clasp on those bags works or how that is, but this is fine. It's really easy to just push down and it opens up and um, what I like about this bag is it has lots of sections. Um, it's a nice size bag as well. I can definitely fit my wallet, my phone, my keys, lipsticks, other things like that. So um, yeah, it's a great size and it has um, a little section up here just to put like um, it's not zippered or closed or anything, so um, papers and stuff. And then it has the inside, which has the zipper closure here. It has two little, like, um, of those little pockets here and enough space in the middle. And then the back section also has a little flap there as well. And then the back also has a thing right here. A pocket um, which is good for cell phones and then the gold hardware is really pretty all across the bag it is I have a scarf here um, it is adjustable with these little um, buttons so you can unbutton here and then move this up or down um, so that can make it a little longer or shorter um, so yeah just a really pretty bag I think this is like a natural vegetable tanned leather or something, so it is going to show scratches. So I have a few scratches on here now, even though I haven't worn it that much. So if you are picky about scratches, you don't want to go for like the natural leather ones. You'll want to pick like the croc embossed or snakeskin embossed or whatever. There's other um, leathers available to choose from, so you might want to consider one of those because this will show wear. But I think that um, looks great on leather bags. I love a patina. And it's not, it doesn't have a super long um, strap. So it's good for over the shoulder. And I have it on the longest um, length. So even on the longest, it's not, it's not like super long. It goes over your shoulder. And I guess you can also wear it as a crossbody, although it's not as like easy to do that. It does feel kind of short. So mainly just a over the shoulder bag. Looks great with a little scarf, um, silk scarf. And yeah, this is like a great year round bag. So you can wear it spring, summer, um, winter, whatever. And oh, the other thing I really liked about this bag were these little gold like clasps right here or just like little, little details. I think that's really pretty. And this like suede kind of lining up here, um, fabric lining on the inside here. So just a really pretty classic bag, comes in lots of different colors. There's the original Milo bag with the toggle clasp. This comes in a mini size in lots of different colors. So definitely a Cezanne staple bag and I definitely love it. I've been tempted to get it in the black as well because it just looks like a really versatile um, classic bag that you will just have for a long time because the style is just so simple and classic. Have I said classic enough? Um, yeah, but just a really pretty bag. So I'm really excited about this bag. This is the Justine bag. When I saw they were coming out with it, I got so excited because it's exactly what I was looking for this summer. Um, and they released it in a couple of different colors. There was like a bright pink. There was a natural raffia with a brown handle. And then I was able to get it in this darker natural raffia with a dark navy blue leather. Um, so yeah, these went like hotcakes when they were first released. I wasn't able to get one, um, even though I like set my alarm, got up early, tried to check out, but they were already gone. Um, luckily they are bringing them back in stock. 
Um, I just saw a restock the other day of one of the colors. It might be sold out again. So hopefully they keep bringing it back all through the spring and summer because this is just such a cool bag. Um, I love it because it's a very flexible straw, raffia, whatever you want to call it. So it's very packable, which is great for summer vacations. And the leather straps are also lovely. And I loved how they were. There's two of them. So there's the, the handles here and then the crossbody or the shoulder straps here. So you can wear it or hold it multiple ways. These straps are not adjustable, so they are what they are. And then what I really loved was the inside because it has these, this drawstring um, pouch in here, which is attached to the bottom, so you can't take it out unless um, you cut the, the strings or whatever. So the inside is also adjustable with these drawstring leather straps. So you can cinch up your valuables in here and they will hopefully stay safe because like I said, this is very floppy. So otherwise I think things might fall out like your keys or your um, lipsticks or whatever. So yeah, you can put your small things in there, but there's also then enough room to just layer on stuff on top like shoes or um, a light layer or your books um, or whatever. That's why I think it's a great summer bag beach bag. Um, yeah, it's just really cute. And this is the large version. They had a mini version, which is what I was really, really interested in because I, th I think it looks similar to like the low basket bag, which is really popular. Um, there's a mini version. And I thought this might be like really too big, like a big tote bag, but I think it's the perfect size actually. It's just the right size to fit enough stuff for the summer. Um, and it doesn't look huge like when I'm carrying it. It feels like a normal size bag, um, not oversized. Luckily, the mini version just restocked and I was able to get it. It should be arriving today. So I'm hoping to include it in this video. We'll see because it looks really cute and that looks more of like a going out summer bag. It doesn't look like you can fit a whole lot in there. It's just really cute to wear like with a summer dress if you're going out to brunch or whatever. So this is the Justine bag, set an alert on Cezanne's site. Keep an eye out for restocks um, because you'll want to grab this bag. It's really cute. This is the Mona sweater and I think this is a really, a really great um, spring sweater um, top. It is mostly cotton with a little bit of wool. So it does have that like sweater feel. It doesn't feel like a t-shirt although it kind of looks like, you know, a t-shirt, um, and it's still very light, even though it does have some wool in it, um, which is why I think it's great for spring, because it's, um, yeah, it's kind of like the, uh, a sweater tee hybrid, um, and it's really soft and comfortable, too, and I love the stripes, they're navy stripes, and I love this button detail on the shoulder. Um, they are functional, so you can unbutton them if you want, um, I can't resist, resist striped shirts. Obviously, I have a ton of Cezanne striped tops. I think it's very French, and it just looks really cute. I've styled this with a pair of Cezanne's high-waisted, like, 70s trousers, and it looks really chic. So, um, I highly suggest this top. I even think it's light enough to wear in the summertime. Um, Definitely, it's kind of a little sheer. It is stretchy, so very light, very comfortable. I'm wearing the size small, which is my usual size. And if you're in between, you can get away with, with your larger size because it is pretty form-fitting, not boxy like a lot of Cezanne's um, tops are. So um, size up if you're in between or you want a looser fit. Um, but yeah, just think it's really cute. This is the MAC shirt and I've shared this shirt several times in other videos because I've got it in the white version, I believe, and the, a striped version. Um, so this would be my third one. This is the light blue um, version. And obviously I love this shirt because this is my third one. If you're looking to do an oversized shirt but not sure like how to do that, um, go for the MAC shirt because it's just automatically like oversized and um, chic. So obviously you can see it's really long in the back. I'm wearing size 4, which is my usual size. 
Um, if you want, you can get away with sizing down in this, but it's supposed to be oversized, so I say take your usual size because that's the look you're going for. Um, I think all the MAC shirts are slightly different maybe in their fabric um, and style. Like this one has these mother of pearl or just these white little snap um, buttons and my other ones have like actual regular buttons. Um, so this one is a little bit different with these um, white pearly buttons um, down the sleeve down here. It still has this pocket and yeah they're just really comfortable and laid back these are my airport shirts i wear these on planes with like a pair of leggings um because i like the butt coverage so that's nice and i think for the summer these would be great um over top of like your swimsuits um you can unbutton it and just wear it over top of your swimwear i think that's really cute um, this is a very nice and soft organic cotton I believe the MAC shirts come in like maybe a poplin cotton, a little stiffer, um, and maybe some other types of fabrics. So just check the descriptions of each one. But if you don't have a MAC shirt, what are you waiting for? Pick one up, lots of colors and styles to choose from. All right, this is the Marcello top and just a simple, you know, black tank for summer. I guess it's like a racerback style kind of, obviously. Um, I can't wear a regular bra with this. You'd have to, you know, get a, a racerback style or strapless or I'm wearing sticky cups, which is what I prefer to do instead of like a regular bra. Um, could you see the back? It goes like that as well. It's cotton elastane, so stretchy, has like a slight little rib texture to it. Um, not much else to say. I feel like there's kind of a little weird fabric bunch going around under my arms. Um, I have a really petite rib cage, really small one. So um, I think if my rib cage was a little bit wider, I'd kind of fill that out a little better maybe. I don't know, but just something, I just want something basic to wear with um, like a pair of linen trousers. I thought that would be really cute. Just a, another tank option um, for spring and summer. I forgot to say I'm wearing size small, which is my usual size. It is stretchy, so you have a little bit of wiggle room with that. I think they suggest if you're in between sizes to take your larger size because it is more form-fitting. So, um, you know, just uh, keep that in mind when you're choosing your tank. Here we have the Harlow skirt, and this was just kind of an impulse buy. I just wanted a, a cute skirt that I could go out in. Um, and feel cool. So this is 100% um, lambskin leather with a viscose lining and it's really soft, buttery. Um, yeah, just a really lovely black leather. It is mini um, and there's a zipper in the back. So that's how you get it on and off. Um, yeah, it is really cute. I think it's great for date nights or like a party. Um, this is not like an all day skirt for me because it's not super comfortable. Obviously there's like no stretch. So when I sit down, it does kind of feel like it rides up and feels pretty short. So definitely something I'd only wear for like date nights, um, or, you know, an, an event or something, but I thought it was, I thought it was cute and sexy and yeah, I'm wearing the size six, which is my usual size and bottoms kind of struggling with my midsection here right now. My stomach gets pretty bloated, um, and so I definitely have that bump um, that makes it difficult for me to wear bottoms now. So um, yeah, this definitely is tight. There's no stretch. Um, so I would take your larger size, maybe if you're in between or if you have more of a belly like I do. Um, but yeah, I think other, other than that, it fits pretty much true to size. Um, I wouldn't size up or down in this. Um, I think it's perfect. Here we have the fox skirt from the Cezanne and the C New York collab. And yeah, this is another mini skirt. I don't know, who am I? I don't normally wear skirts like this because I feel like they're too short. But I was feeling crazy and I thought it was really cute. I loved this um, quilted pattern and patchwork pattern with all the different colors and prints. Um, I thought it would be a really fun skirt to um, mix and match tops with, <clears throat> sorry, mix and match tops with because there's all these different colors, patterns. Anyway, um, I decided to go for it 
it is really comfortable, much more comfortable than the leather one I just showed you. And um, it has a zipper all the way down the front so you can unzip this whole thing. It'll just come, just come out in the sheet. Um, so that's how you get it on and off. And it's a quilted um, pattern. So it is actually quilted. It's, it's still thin enough where it doesn't feel bulky, but um, there's definitely a, f a filling in here um, to give it that quilted feel. Um, and yeah, what else to say? I'm wearing the size six, which is my usual size. Um, it definitely is, you know, smaller and tighter. So if you're in between sizes, take your larger size. Um, it still fits my belly. <laughs> and I'm pairing it with this uh, Cezanne cardigan, and I forget what it's called. Oh, there's a bug. I forget what it's called, but I'll link it. And this is how I uh, styled it recently, except I have a um, uh, navy blue cotton cardigan from another brand instead of this wool cardigan um, for spring and summer obviously because this will be too hot but you can see how that looks styled with a cardigan but this skirt would also be cute with a bunch of other tops you can pick from any of the colors in the skirt sadly i think this is limited sizes are still available but Cezanne has other quilted mini skirts available which are also super cute so you can check those out if you're interested. Here we have the margarita dress and this is a perfect dress for spring and summer. I was drawn to it because of the sexy lace up back. So it's very open and um, I also felt like it would be a really adjustable dress. Because of these ties in the back, you can make them tighter or looser, um, and that you can adjust like the neckline as well if you want it up um, higher or lower. So I felt this would be um, a really good dress for me. I have a smaller rib cage, so I like to be able to adjust um, my tops to fit better around my bust area, and also love the print. Um, so yeah, just wanted to pick it up, try it out, and I really like it. I am wearing the size four, so I size down. So I'd usually take a six in Cezanne dresses, um, but I decided to size down because it is so adjustable in the back. I figured um, I could, you know, let it out a lot as so it would fit um, better here. And since it's a flowy skirt, I figured it would fit around my bottom part. Um, and yeah, I, th I definitely think it fits. Um, I think I could have taken my usual size six though. Um, I would have just pulled the laces tighter um, because this is 100% viscose and I've noticed that this fabric does kind of like shrink when you wash it. Um, you might be able to loosen up the viscose fabric if you iron it while it's damp, kind of stretch it out a little bit but it definitely did feel like tighter around this area when I washed it. So keep that in mind. If you are in between sizes, I definitely think you could take your smaller size. Otherwise, you can take your normal size and um, just tighten it in the back because it is very adjustable um, and you'll be fine. And obviously you can see it's very low. So I do kind of have to be mindful. This kind of shifts, the straps kind of shift around um, because of this back area here. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, sometimes I do feel like it's kind of coming down a little bit, so I gotta adjust. Um, I'm wearing sticky cups, so obviously not a regular bra. Can't wear a regular bra with this. I think sticky cups are perfect. Um, obviously I still feel secure and I think it looks good. Um, yeah, very sexy dress. It also comes in a leopard print. Um, which I think is a great date night version of this dress. This one is, I feel like, more for like daytime, brunches, um, social events, things like that. <laughs> um, yeah, this style comes in, um, Cezanne also has this style dress, I think they're called a different name, but in the silk fabrics, and I think that's kind of a better investment. I like silk as opposed to viscose. Um, those are obviously a little dressier, but they do have a lace-up, V-neck looks exactly like this, the margarita dress, except it's called something different and they're in silk fabrics. Yeah, I think the uh, silk version is a better investment than this version. I think they're almost the same price and I like silk better than I like viscose, so 
Um, keep that in mind, it's an option, but still really do like this dress, planning on wearing it a lot in the summer because um, it's so cute. This is the popular Pippa dress. So this um, was available last year as well, and it sold out pretty fast and I wasn't able to pick one up. Um, but this year I was lucky I got one um, in my favorite black color. Um, I thought this looked like a really comfortable summer dress because it's made from a stretchy cotton, so it feels like a nice um, t-shirt material. And um, it's long, it's almost down to my ankles, but then has these really big side slits that hit like right at my fingertips on both sides. It has this kind of faux um, tie here. So it does tighten up the midsection a little bit um, and it is stretchy so you can kind of cinch this here, tightens things up around here. Um, and yeah. I do really like it, so I'm going to be wearing this a lot because, like I said, it's really comfortable, nice and stretchy. I feel like I could take a nap in this dress. Um, it's like a t-shirt dress, but it's a little bit fancier because of this. The ruching here and the side tie and the slits a little bit sexier. Um, and so this comes in different colors. I think they keep releasing it um, in different colors every now and then. I'm not sure what's available right now, but um, I'm wearing the size small and that's my usual size so I would suggest taking your usual size. I did order this in an extra small because I thought since it was stretchy that I might want it to be more form fitting um, but I did not like how the extra small looked. It was you know definitely tighter here um, but then tighter down here and I didn't like how um, it looked with the slits. It was like very tight and then kind of like these two flaps um, so I didn't like how that looked. Definitely prefer a little looser fit for this dress, so I would take your usual size. Um, and I think the ruching here around the belly is really flattering if you do have a little belly like I do. I think it kind of hides it. The black is really slimming as well. And um, they do have the Pippa dress available in mini styles. So if you don't like the long maxi dress look, you can get this in a mini and it doesn't have the slits. So I feel like the mini would hit right um, at the fingertips, like where the slits start. Um, and it looks exactly the same, um, the rest of it. And I'm really considering getting the mini version as well because it looks really cute. Cute. And um, I almost want to pick it up in the black version too, because it just looks, um, sexy but comfortable so we'll see i would definitely suggest this dress as a summer dress staple if you're looking to upgrade your t-shirt dresses um, because i think this just has a little extra something going on all right that's it you made it to the end thanks for sticking with me um i'm sorry if i was chatty or rambly can't help myself. I tried um, my best. But if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. I've tried on a bunch of other um, Cezanne pieces as well, so always feel free to ask me how anything else fits because I might have tried it. You can catch me on my blog, jeansandateacup.com, where I have styled a lot of these Cezanne pieces, and then on my Instagram as well, at jeansandateacup. Um, and so I hope to see you next time. Thanks. Bye.